And on top of all of this other awful news we've been covering, by the way, we came awfully close to getting hit by an asteroid. Believe it or not, the space rock, a big one, picture an Airstream mobile home, passed closer to the Earth than the moon is, just after dinner time, East Coast time last night. In space terms, it was close enough to muss up your hair, but luckily it was a swing and a miss. The asteroid was named 2009 B.D., or as some astronomers called it, what the heck was that? It's now well out to space, and now they assure us if it had made contact, it wouldn't have done much damage. And an early heads up, you might want to look up next Tuesday when an asteroid the size of an aircraft carrier passes closer to the Earth than the moon is. Now, while scientists say it will be a clean miss, in their words, despite passing closer than anything has in decades, a Purdue scientist did say if it did hit us and landed in the ocean, say, it would cause a 7.0 earthquake and tsunami waves 70 feet high. You'll be hearing a lot about this next item over the next 11 months, but astronomers have identified a new asteroid about 150 feet across, which is headed our way and may come so close to Earth that it will pass between us and the satellites orbiting in space above us. There's some debate in the scientific community about whether a direct hit is even possible. Most steadfastly say no. This is called 2012 DA-14. They say this will be the closest past of an asteroid in the history of tracking such things. And again, while this pass is supposed to miss us, the experts all say there's nothing wrong with making sure your affairs are in order. They've given me a few minutes just to talk to all of, uh, all of you in our NASA family about emergency preparedness. Um, NASA recently participated in a FEMA exercise called Eagle Horizon that was a part of a continuity of operations and government exercise that we do annually. And I became aware of some things that concern me about our family preparedness, and I wanted to talk to you very briefly. You know, we in NASA, we're an incredibly unique organization. We're the only agency in the federal government that's responsible for the safety and well-being of people not only here on Earth, but uh, off this planet. So um, my experience in the astronaut office, uh, my experience as an active duty Marine, uh, always talked about the importance of family preparedness and to make sure that we had a viable family support program. And I have concerns that ours right now is not uh, as good as it ought to be. So what I'm asking all of you in the NASA family, whether you're out on the West Coast, here on the East Coast, along the Gulf Coast, uh, up on the, the, you know, the Great Lakes, Think about the, the natural disasters that could occur in your area. Think about attacks that could come like 9-11 from outside forces. And talk to your family about your work and what they need to do to prepare for the unforeseen. Uh, develop a family preparedness plan in your house. Uh, have an emergency supply kit available. Most people who live along the, the, the Gulf Coast always have an emergency kit for hurricanes. I, I'm not sure whether people out on the West Coast think about uh, earthquakes and the like, but have an emergency supply kit at your home. Think about a family communications plan. Where are we going to meet if an emergency occurs and we're all over, the, all over town? Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to call each other on the cell phone? Just think about those things. If you have pets, think about a pet preparedness plan. How are you going to make sure that they're taken care of when you're spread all over the place? Uh, and then f if you have family members who have special needs, special needs preparedness. The most important asset uh, for us to successfully complete our mission is that our people, our families mainly, are taken care of so that we can come to work and feel good that if an, an emergency arises, our families are going to be taken care of. So I would ask you again, sit with your families, think about what you would do in an emergency situation. I hope that you'll embrace and support the Family Preparedness Program as we all get better prepared to deal with these emergencies. Know your stuff. You know, know what it is that you're going to do. Know what it is that you're, you want your family to do if an emergency arises. But most of all, be prepared.